Pike Camp Ranch, releasing 800 of the 1100 brook trout fry that we spawned and raised at Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute. When we spawn these brook trout, we anesthetize the fish, we squeeze the eggs out of the female, and then we anesthetize the male, squeeze the milt out of the male. Those eggs will then go into a trout jar where they will continue to develop until they hatch out. Once they are hatched out, we will move them into separate smaller bins, and then eventually they will grow and go into our raceways back at our hatchery. Southern Appalachian brook trout populations were devastated from clear cutting throughout the 1900s. Brook trout are very reliant on high mountain streams that are very oxygenated and very shaded by the trees. So the clear cutting was very devastating as far as warming up the streams. It caused a lot of runoff and siltation in the streams, which smothers out the eggs that they produce and just has devastated their population. In the early 1900s, rainbow trout were introduced as a sport fish into these waterways where brook trout were historically found. Rainbow trout are much larger, they eat more food, and they take over the habitat where brook trout are historically found. TWRA monitors the populations of southern Appalachian brook trout and lets us know each year where we should release these fish based on the populations that are there and how they are thriving and if they are reproducing in the wild on their own. It's really important for us to try to conserve our native southern Appalachian brook trout as this is the only trout that is native to Tennessee. Restorations like this would not be possible without our partnerships. We're out here today with TWRA and this project is funded by Trout Unlimited. TWRA determines the streams where the habitat is suitable for these fish so that after we release them, they can thrive in their native habitat. We love raising these baby Southern Appalachian brook trout at Tenassee, but it's so important for them to be out here in the wild fulfilling their role in the ecosystem. So it's a great day to be able to see them back in their native habitats here at Ike Camp Ranch.